Member for Stirling has the call. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I draw the attention of the House to the innovative work of the Type 1 Diabetes Family Centre in my electorate of Stirling. I used to know very little about Type 1 diabetes. I had, however, through my son's primary school buddy Scott, seen the massive investment of his parents in his daily and nightly health care. What I've learnt during my visits to the centre and discussions with CEO Beck Johnson and her staff has been eye-opening. Onset of type 1 diabetes generally occurs in childhood, which also places significant pressures on families, parents and teachers. That's where the type 1 family diabetes centre comes in. The centre has been designed by type 1 diabetics for type 1 diabetics. This hub offers a unique model of care that includes a clinic, nutrition programs and psychology, as well as wraparound services like babysitting and family camps. They even host gathos for teenagers where they can come and play table tennis, pinball and hang out on site. The centre conducts cooking classes, which helps kids to learn to manage their own diets. They also get out to schools to demystify the illness and educate teachers and staff on the types of support that kids with type 1 may require. In 2018, the centre expanded its services to also cater for adults. This responds to the need for lifelong care for a lifelong condition. This incredible work has led to national and international recognition for the centre, including winning the Outstanding Charity Award in 2018, Amy Rush winning the 2018 Diabetes Educator of the Year Award <clears throat> and being finalist in the 2019 Telstra Business Awards. The Morrison government is supporting the Type 1 Diabetes Family Centre in two ways. First, we provided $20,000 enabling the purchase of an uninterrupted power supply for its medical fridge and equipment for those youngsters to hold their gathos. Second, we expanded our commitment to the Continuous Glucose Monitoring Initiative, technology that was initially available only to type 1 diabetics under 21, but which has now been expanded to other groups, including expecting and post-pregnant women. I look forward to continuing to work closely with the Type 1 Diabetes Family Centre in Stirling, supporting those living with Type 1 diabetes.